This is the wire for 2000 Zulu, September 25th, 2024. Precedence is routine. Information cutoff is 1900. Bottom line in front. United Nations General Assembly continues in New York. IED detonates in California courthouse. Israel continues preparation for invasion of Lebanon. Beginning with international events in the Middle East, conflict continues to escalate as before. Overnight, a drone attack originating from Iraq was carried out on a small Israeli outpost in the Negev Desert, causing severe damage. And Israel growing rhetoric suggests that the IDF is reaching the final stages of readiness for a ground invasion of Lebanon. In Syria, air defenses reportedly intercepted roughly a dozen Israeli missiles overnight. Analysts comment. Some reports indicate that the interception of these missiles was not undertaken by Syria, but by Russian forces stationed at their naval base in Tartus. Though this cannot be verified at this time, if true, this would present a substantial move by Russia to become more deliberately involved in the rapidly escalating war. In the Red Sea Horn of Africa region, CENTCOM claims to have destroyed another Houthi long-range drone in the Red Sea. In Germany, a man was beaten to death near the old botanical garden in Munich overnight. The group of assailants remains at large. In Russia, during a meeting of the Security Council, President Putin proposed a change to Russia's first strike nuclear policy. Specifically, he stated that, quote, It is proposed that aggression against Russia by any non-nuclear state, but with the participation or support of a nuclear state, be considered as their joint attack on the Russian Federation. End quote. Analysts comment. In short, this proposal would change Russia's nuclear stance to consider attacks by Ukraine, as aided by NATO, to be treated the same as a first strike by a nuclear power. Exactly the situation that Russia is facing right now. Though anything regarding the use of nuclear weapons is largely a debate, this is probably concerning nonetheless. Generally speaking, the entire Cold War was predicated on the idea of a mutual, simultaneous nuclear attack, with both sides mostly adopting the position of, I won't launch if you won't. Now, if Russia is considering a conventional attack that is aided by a nuclear power to be a first strike itself, this probably will cause great controversy within the field of strategic arms limitation efforts. On the home front, in Ohio, yesterday afternoon a rail car began leaking styrene gas in Whitewater Township west of Cincinnati. Local evacuations were recommended due to the hazards posed by the gas leak. In Florida, in a post made on social media this morning, Donald Trump specifically blamed Iran for, quote, threats on his life. Analysts comment. This morning, the United States Secretary of Commerce and former Governor of Rhode Island, Gina Raimondo, stated that Trump needed to be, quote, extinguished for good during a media interview. Not 72 hours ago, a group of 741 former intelligence professionals signed a letter endorsing Kamala Harris, including some of which who took part in what has become known as the Russiagate hoax. As such, it's highly likely that the alleged Iranian threats to Trump are inaccurate or overemphasized considering the other more domestic threats Trump openly faces nearly daily. In New York, the United Nations General Assembly continues this week amid growing protests from a wide variety of interest groups. Most protests have involved Israel, Palestine, India, Ghana, and Cuba, all regarding various issues in these nations. In California this afternoon, an improvised explosive device was detonated inside a courtroom at the Santa Maria Courthouse. Two people were wounded in the blast, and one suspect was arrested. Analyst comments for this wire. The California IED attack is the latest in a string of attacks throughout the state involving explosives. On August 28th, EOD personnel were dispatched to render safe an explosive device that was likely intended to destroy the Pitt River Bridge. The device failed to detonate completely, causing the discovery by authorities. One week prior, EOD personnel were dispatched in Los Angeles to render safe four Russian hand grenades that were emplaced in a tree in Baldwin Park. This concludes the wire for 2000 Zulu, September 25th, 2024.